Happy Thanksgiving 2020. Today is Thanksgiving, so happy Turkey Day. I got the old Dodge Ram out today. Of course, it's evening now. It's uh, all about 7, a little after 7 o'clock p.m. And a little chilly out. We got the Dodge out today to drive it. I like to get it out every once in a while. I like to get them all out every so often and, and try to drive them so they don't sit just constantly. Uh, this poor old girl is going to have to have a heater core put in it pretty soon. Uh, heater core has gone out in it. And you can see from here how fogged up the windshield is on this thing. Guys, if you've ever driven a vehicle with a bad heater core, at night it's terrible the way this window fogs up. Look at that. I've got, I've got to keep a towel in there and just constantly wipe the window off. It's not so bad, you know, in the daytime, but uh, or when it's a little bit warmer out. But when it gets a little chilly out at the nighttime, you don't have any heat, you don't have any defrost in the thing. So she's going to have to have a heater core. And on top of that, these poor headlights are just shot. These original 1994 headlights have got to be replaced. You can see how they're getting moisture in them, holding water. The lenses are hazed over. I think one of them's actually one of them's actually burned out because they'll get water in there and that water will splash up on the bulb. But I think I think the driver's side is actually burned out. And then on the bottom, one of my fog lights, I think the passenger side fog lights burned out. So on top of on top of the windshield fogging up on the thing, the headlights are, are uh, terrible on it too. So I really don't even need to be driving it at night, but I got stuck out a little late tonight. We were blessed to be able to, uh, myself and Coda, be invited to my ex-mother-in-law's house for Thanksgiving dinner. So we, we finished up that. And I thought, while I had her out, I'm going to bring her on by the car wash and spray it off. I have to wind up doing this. I say it in every video about black vehicles, dark colored vehicles. Every time you pull them out, and I say it every video, I know, guys, but it's true. Every time you pull them out, you got to wash them or wipe them off or something. They get so dirty just sitting. Just sitting. I mean, this thing sets. It's probably set for a week or two. I just want to get her out and drive her some today. Uh, I'll get one of the Rangers out tomorrow. And I said on the heater core, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait, hold off on that probably till this spring, probably around March, April, sometime like that. I'll probably wait till then to get that heater core replaced. And I know everybody's going to say, man, you got, you need to get it replaced now. Well, the heater core itself is not, not all that awfully bad. It's about 70, 65, 70 bucks, I think. The, the labor, and before anybody says it, well, you can do it yourself. I don't do mechanic work. Just leave it at that. But with the labor and everything else, you're probably looking anywhere between four to six hundred dollars to get this heater core replaced because you got to pull the whole dash out of this thing to replace that heater core. It's what I've been always been told, and I'm sure that's correct on this. And the bad thing about these Dodge Rams from this year and, uh, and, and, and years surrounding this year, the dashboards are that hard, thick plastic, and they just crumble. And this dashboard is no exception. It's, in, it's not in great shape. I've seen a lot worse, but I'm pretty sure when they pull this dash out to change that heater core out, the dash is probably not going to fare too well. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it this spring, probably around March or April. And the main reason is because I've been so much, I spent so much money on vehicles this year. I've got give or take $1,500 uh, worth of work probably in the last six or seven months in the 89 GT. Had a water pump, had to put a water pump on the Buick. Uh, that was, I don't know, three or $400, everything said and done. And then the 88 Ranger, uh, we put, we did some brake work on it. That was around 300 bucks. So 
my bank, I got to get my bank account built back up so we can get this one back going. So this spring, uh, March or April, we'll do the heater core on it. And we've got to get some more headlights on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with some aftermarket. I don't, I don't want the LEDs. I just hear too many bad things about LED lights. I'm going to stick with just regular lights. I don't know if I'm going to go with some type of aftermarket lenses or aftermarket lights or go back with just the stock lights on it. But I've got to get some lights on it so that I can see better at night. Of course, right now, it's not going to matter what kind of lights you have with that window fogging up like that. Anyway, again, guys, I hope everybody had a, a happy and safe Thanksgiving. I'm going to get this thing sprayed off and get it back to the house, put it back in the carport where she can sit for another week or two. Maybe I can get it out and drive it between then, between then and, and now, but uh, I, I try to, but uh, I got just got too many vehicles. All right, guys, have a good night. Thanks for watching.